In this video, I want to focus on how I took this picture and I'm going to tell you all the settings and the technique so that you can go and do something similar. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Gerard. I'm a photographer in Montreal, but originally from the UK. And I shoot weddings, bands, portraits, but today I wanna to focus on one particular portrait from a real wedding, and that is this one. This is from Sean and Martin's wedding at the Custard Factory in Birmingham, England a few years ago. It was a great wedding in a great location and actually my studio, my photography studio in Birmingham used to be in the building right behind them just to the left of this picture. And if anybody's wondering, no, Photoshop was not used to make this picture. Everything was done in camera and I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it right now. Okay guys, so here is the finished image. I took this on my Canon 5D Mark III using my 35mm Canon 1.4L lens, which is my favourite lens for weddings. You might have seen another video where I talk all about that. So the specific camera settings for this shot were ISO 250 so quite a low iso the exposure was 30 seconds so the camera was on a tripod and the aperture was opened for 30 seconds there was quite a lot of light in this area as you can see so my aperture was set at f18 so i had to close it all the way down just so that the light in the background wasn't going to completely blow out i wanted to try and keep as much detail as i could so that's 35 mil lens, the 1.4 lens, 30 second exposure at F18 and ISO 250. And then I did the light painting around them and I'll tell you kind of how that works next. So here's the big mistake that people make when they're trying to do a light painting shot like this. And that is that they put their subjects, here is the bride and groom, in an area where they've already got ambient light falling on their faces too much. So even though it looks like Sean and Martin here were in light, they were actually in an area where there wasn't any light shining on them at all. Well, maybe just a little bit, but without the flash that I added, they would have basically been silhouettes with all that light and color behind them. So to get them to stand out, I fired my flash, which is my Canon speed light. I am just to the left of the camera, holding my flash up in my hand and holding it quite high and then aiming it right at the couple. From that position, the flash was probably zoomed in at 105 and turned vertically so that the light that was firing out of the flash at them was even in the same shape that they are. So it just hits them as much as possible without hitting too much around them. There was no soft boxes or anything like that involved. It was literally me standing with a flash gun held up on my head, aimed at them, held vertically. So the actual technique, once I had my camera settings dialed in, was that my camera, which was on a tripod, don't forget, would have the timer set. So I would press the shutter and there would be 10 seconds before the shutter was released. By that time, I was in position on the left-hand side holding the flash. After I heard the shutter release, that's the beginning of the 30 second exposure. I would fire the flash manually just by using the button on the flash gun and aimed at Martin and Sean. Fire that flash once and then I would get my light, which I use for the light painting, and basically just kind of walk around them fairly slowly and make the patterns, whichever patterns I thought was going to work the best. Go from the left all the way around the couple and you can actually see I kind of did a circle around the couple, constantly holding the light towards the lens and then wandered back down the right hand side and that all happens within the 30 seconds. But before I actually set up this picture with the couple, I did a couple of test shots. So let's show you those. So this was the first one. You can see the actual location and I was just trying to get my settings right so that the ambient light that was already at the custard factory kind of looked right. The colors looked good 
and then I just wanted to see what the light would look like as I was kind of waving it around. A lot of the time for these kind of shots, I use colored light. I Sometimes I just use toys and things like that, anything that lights up. But for this one, I just used a white light because there was so much colored light already in the scene so I thought that the white light would probably stand out better with all the colors in the background rather than having more color for my actual light painting light. Once I'd got a general idea of how I wanted things to look in camera I borrowed my friend Paul and he came out and stood in for the picture because I didn't want to bring the bride and groom out while I was still kind of dialing in my settings so he came out and we did a couple of test shots. This one looks pretty good but his face was still a little bit dark for my liking so my flash gun was set at 16th of power for this test shot. Um, because I thought it was just a little bit too dark on him, I bumped it up to one eighth of power. And this is the shot with one eighth of power. You can see the light on his face is looking good now. I kind of like that the light comes from one side rather than being too flat onto him. And once I was happy with these settings, we went to get the bride and groom who were just in the building behind him to the left. And this was the first shot I took with the bride and groom. Now, because I'm over to the left hand side with my light, you can see the light was actually hitting Martin a little bit more than Sean, actually quite a bit more than Sean. So on this shot, it didn't quite work as well as I'd liked. So I made some adjustments for that, slightly angled the speed light so that it was more focused on Sean. And we got that. So you can see that the light trail is kind of similar. I had an idea in my head already how I wanted it to look, but on this one, it's slightly different to this one. But this was the one we were happy with. It looked great on the back of the camera. Everybody looks sharp. If they'd moved too much, there might have been a little bit of haze behind their heads. So they had to keep fairly still, but not like super still for the whole 30 seconds. Like I say, there was pretty much no ambient light on their faces. The only light that hit them during the 30 second exposure was the light from my flash gun. So that is why they are sharp and they're not blurry and it doesn't look like they're moving around. People always ask me, why can't we see you in the picture if you're walking around with a speed light? And the reason is that I'm only in each individual position throughout that light stream for a fraction of a second. So for most of the 30 second exposure, it's recording what's behind me. And then I'm just continuously moving. The light is bright enough to show up, but I'm not. Usually I wear black clothes that I wear in anyway, so that even helps even more. And I make sure that none of the light hits me. So even though I'm walking around with this torch, none of it is aiming at me because that might mean I show up a bit more in the picture. But as long as I keep moving fairly steadily throughout the picture, and also not too fast, I kind of wander fairly slowly. I've got 30 seconds to get from the left hand side all the way around the couple and then back to the right hand side. Well, 30 seconds minus the time it takes me to fire the flash. So I kind of use that time, wander around, make sure that the light stream is a nice shape and nice and varied, and then make sure that I get back behind the camera before the shutter closes on the 30 second mark. And then this is the finished image again after a little bit of editing. Not even that much editing. I just made a couple of color corrections. Just lightened them a little bit with dodging and burning in Lightroom. You can see the difference between this one and this one. And then that was it. That's the finished image. So once again, 35mm lens, Canon 5D Mark III, ISO 250, 30 second exposure at f18 camera on a tripod and set to a timer so that you can release the shutter and then get into position with the flash gun. Flash gun set for this, it was set at one eighth in the end of power and zoomed in vertically at 105. I fire the flash manually using the button on the flash, then put the flash down, pick up my torch and then wander around slowly making the shapes, making sure that I don't get any light on me. I go around the couple and then back to the right hand side before the 30 seconds is up. I hope that will make sense, but if you've got any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I will make sure I answer those later. So in future videos, I'll go through some of my other pictures and explain in similar detail how I got the image. 
But if you found any value from this video, I'd really appreciate a like and maybe a subscribe. And you can even ring the bell if you want to make sure you don't miss any future videos. But thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching the video. And we'll see you hopefully in the next one. See ya.